My name is Morgan Christen, and this is a spin. Who is your 10th man? Back in 1973, conventional wisdom within both the Israeli and the U.S. intelligence community was that the Egyptians would not attack, at least not in the short run. Their sources reported part shortages and a lack of training within the Egyptian army. And it was Ramadan, the Muslim month of fasting. And the Israelis had taken care of them just six years earlier in the Six-Day War. So they were confident on October 5th, 1973. October 6th, 1973 changed everything. The ensuing Yom Kippur War of the Arab countries against Israel was a major blow. There was a ripple effect in Israel. Land was surrendered to broker peace, political resignations, calls for the dismissal of senior intelligence officials, and the incorporation of a new approach to decision making within the Israeli intelligence circles, especially when consensus appeared, the 10th man rule. Basically, the 10th man rule is a way to counter our human nature that prefers harmony within our inner circle. When that default bias for consensus is combined with an important decision, as Israelis had experienced, the results can be painful. Have you ever been in a room when it feels like the train has left the station? Everyone seems very enthusiastic about the decision and you go along for the ride? It's a 10th man rule. 10th man discipline is one where the group intentionally appoints at least one person to serve as a loyal dissenter. Loyal because their underlying motive is to arrive at the best decision for the organization. And as a dissenter, they not only have the permission, but the duty to disagree and poke holes in the assumptions being made by the group. The technique forces you to slow down and reconsider the wisdom of the decision and whatever contingency planning or other risk mitigation might be worthwhile. Who is your loyal dissenter? Are you chasing Bitcoin or Tesla? Perhaps it's time to talk with an advisor at Spinnaker Investment Group. You need a 10th man. You need Spinnaker Investment Group.